Hey, howdy, hey, welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. For tonight's video, I'm going to be reviewing the finale for RuPaul's Drag Race Season 14. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought about this, and hit that subscribe button, come join me. Sandwich Hour community. And without further ado, let's get this video started. <laughs> Yes, we have the winner now, and we have all the above. So, um, before we do get into this video, it does contain spoilers. So, war spoiler warning. Spoiler warning. Boom. Alright, cool. I also do want to say that these are all my own opinions. So, if you do not agree with these opinions, again, opinions are not facts. These are all my own perspectives. Let me know what you think about all the above down below in the comment section, and we can have a little conversation down below. But, with that all being said... Let's get right on into it. Um, I do want to just go up right off from the bat and say a huge, huge, huge congratulations to our winner, Willow Pill. Let's go. I'm so, so happy for Willow. Honestly, the fact that Willow is the winner feels right to me. It feels like it was destined. It feels like it was meant to be. Willow was one of my favorites from episode one, and here we are at the finale. I'm so happy for Willow, and I cannot wait to see what her reign will be like. Um, so again, huge congratulations to Willow. With that being said, let's get into this episode. Obviously, we get the obviously we get the season 14 queens runways, and I'm gonna go ahead and give you some of my highlights and all the above. Alright, so first, I want to give a huge shout out to Cornbread. This look, everything, everything. I was, I love this. I love this look so much. It was so good. Favorite look of the night. Um, honestly, Cornbread ate this, and I stand. I stand. Um, I also really enjoyed Carrie Colby's look. Obviously, call, call back to the whole Tranos meme on Twitter. Really great moment for Carrie. Um, and then, of course, Georgia's looked amazing as well. Some of the looks were not my favorites, but I did do a more in-depth inner, more in-depth perspective on the 14 season 14 Queens looks in a previous video, so you can go check that out. But I do want to talk about the fin final five looks short. Let's do that. Alright, first we have Angeria Paris Van Michaels. I love this. I love this. The gagginess of it all. This is a finale gown. House down. Amazing. Honestly, probably my favorite look of the top five. I thought this was gorgeous. I love the giant silhouette. Like, this is Vegas. It's Vegas, baby. And this is what it needed to give, you know? And then, of course, we have Bosco. As I said in my previous video, this feels like the fully evolved Bosco. So for me, this was a major, major hit. I really like this. It was not my favorite, again, but I thought this was a great look for Bosco. I really enjoyed it and work. Alright, next when it comes to Diabetti. Diabetti! I actually really like this. In my previous video, I didn't love love it, but I like it more than I did back then. But it's still not my favorite, but not the worst look of the night. That's what I'll say about that. Next, we get the Lady Camden. I love this. I love this. I love this. I'm sorry. I love this. I love it. I love it. Gorgeous. Yeah. Work. And finally, Willow Pill. I love Willow, um, so shoot. I'm just gonna go and say shoot. Short. Work. Yeah. Work. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. If I were to pick out a look that I did not enjoy this night, I'm going to be real with y'all. I was not crazy about Deja's guy's look. Um, I love Deja. This was just not... I, I get what she was going for. I understand the Miss Congeniality reference. I just didn't necessarily get drag from it, if that makes sense. Again, maybe that's my own perspective. Let me know what you think down below. 
but that does wrap up those looks. Now we're going to get to these final five performances. So, um, all the queens do their own original songs, but they aren't actually recorded, and it's not them, and they're just dancing along to them. But, they all do their own songs. First, we get Angie. Um, when it comes to Angie's performance, Angie was one of my favorite performances of the night. It was definitely top three for me. Um, she just had so much presence on stage. She knows how to move. She knows how to... It, it was a great performance for Angie. Um... I really, really liked it. Obviously, the whole track record theme, I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I know. I loved, I loved Angie's performance. And when it came to Angie's interview, again, very much kind of the same thing we've gone throughout the season for each of the queens. Like, we didn't really learn too much new from these interviews. Um, which, again, not a bad thing. Just my own perspective on that. Like, it's fine. It's fine. It's good. Sure. Next, we get Buff. When it comes to Bosco's performance, in my perspective, well, my perspective, Bosco basically stood there, did a quick change, and then revealed. And that was essentially the performance. So for me, this was probably my least favorite. Again, I love Bosco. It just, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. And because of that, it's probably my least favorite of the night. And that's what I'm going to say on that. Next, we get Diabetti. Alright, so as soon as I saw this look, right, I was like, oh, so she ate the dragonfly and then became a bug. So that's what happened. Okay. Um, but when it comes to the performance, eh, eh, it was good. It was fine. It did what it needed to do. Was it the best? No. Um... For me, this felt safe. It didn't feel like a finale performance. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's all I can say about that. Um, for her interview, it was fine. Again, all the interviews felt pretty stale. I, I, I'm just giving my real perspective, like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little critical. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Next, we get the Lady Camden for this performance. I really enjoyed this. I thought this was really well done. I love the ballerina silhouette to the reveal. I love the tie back to the queen performance. Queen runway, obviously. When you fall down, you get back up. I love that message. Um, for me, I really, really like this. I think this was one of my favorites of the night. And I feel like Camden did a really great job holding herself up for a finale level performance. So for me, this was one of my favorites of the night. Yeah. And finally, we get Willow Pill. I loved this. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Um, I love the reveal with the multiple faces. I love the whole tie callback to her original performance and all the things that we've learned about Willow throughout the season. Um, yeah, no, I, I love this. I love this. It was probably my... My, for me, it was, my favorites were between Willow and Camden, and I thought Willow did a really, really great job. I loved this. I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. All right. Then we get the whole Losing is a New Winning performance from the Drag Race Vegas Live Queens and the remaining Season 14 Queens. It was cute. There's not much else to talk about with it, honestly. I kind of just want to move forward to the um, lip syncs and all the above. When it comes to Miss Congeniality, we get, um, first we get Simone coming out in her jeans look. I really like this. I love the giant hair. I love the outfit. I really, really like this. Was it my favorite step down look? Not necessarily. But, I did really enjoy it. I will say that. And then, of course, Lala Ree comes out, um, to present Miss Congeniality. I love Lala Ree. I thought this was a great look for Lala. I think Lala needs to come back for an All-Stars. Maybe not right away, but I would love to see her coming back for an All-Stars a few seasons down. Maybe if they did, like, a Miss Congeniality All-Stars, I would love that. But, again, my own perspective on that. And then Lala Re gets to announce the winner of Miss Congeniality. And this season's Miss Congeniality is going to be... Drumroll, please. Cornbread. Cornbread the snack today. I am so happy for Cornbread. 
great job. I love Cornbread. I love her so much. Favorite queen of the season between her and Willow. But I love that she got congeniality. I thought that was so well deserved. I stand. Yeah, I love Cornbread. Work. Now we get to the um, revealing of who is going to be. Oh, wait, no, they, they already did that. Now we're going to add to this lip sync between um, Lady Camden and Willow Pill. So the lip sync song, well, lip sync song is going to be Gimme, Gimme, Gimme by Cher. Um, when it comes to this lip sync, at the start of it, I felt like they were focusing on Camden a lot. So originally, I thought Camden was going to be winning when the lip sync started. Um, obviously, both queens had reveals. It was a fine lip sync. I like the song. Was it my favorite lip sync? I don't know. Um, was it bad? No. It just... I don't know. Maybe... I, again, I'm probably being very picky right now. And maybe that's just me. But, hey, whatever. And RuPaul also does announce that the winner is going to receive $150,000 and the runner-up is going to receive $50,000. So they both get some money, which is great work. Love that. Um, so when it comes to the winner, RuPaul decides to announce the winner. And the winner is going to be none other than Willow Pill. So again, a huge congrats. So again, a huge congratulations to Willow Pill for winning the season. I stand. I love Willow. Favorite, honestly, one of my favorite queens of the season. I would have been happy with either Camden or Willow, but I'm super happy that Willow did win. So again, work and Camden is second place. But again, that does wrap up the season. Like I said, this has been a super long season, but I'm so glad that Willow won. I'm so glad to that we made it through this whole season, and I can't wait. Wait, wait, wait for All-Star 7. It's me, Iconic. Um, yeah, we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Let me know what you think about all this stuff down below in the comment section. Are you excited for Willow? How do you think her reign will be? And all the above. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Comment down below and share it on social media. Hit that subscribe button. Come join the Sandwich Hour community. Also, go ahead and follow me on my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Samateur Hour. And I will be back here later for another video. Bye, y'all.